at times we find ourselves in an environment of uh, a comfortable environment where we tell ourselves, oh, it's good for me. Oh, it's good for me. Oh, listen, I was praying for a good job. It's good for me. Amen. Oh, I was hoping that I'll get my green card. I've got so it's good for me. Oh, I was looking to have a nice you know, marriage. I've had it, so it's good for me. Amen. Oh, I was waiting to buy a house, so now I've got it. It's good for me. And then when you got it, the enemy says, you are going to sleep in it. You are going to sleep in it. If you are not very careful, you sleep in it. And it will become a prison for you instead of a blessing. You work and work and overwork yourself. Why are you working like that? He said, you know, I've sent my kids to this school. I have, I have to pay this. Why are you working like this? He said, I have to work to pay my mortgage. Why are you working like this? He said, I have to do this and do that. Why are you working like this? He said, I have to do this and do that. Why? Because you weren't smart to know that God was waking you up and telling you, get out! Because I want to bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. That you did. That you did. You are waking me up. You are waking me up. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I praise you. I am out of it. I am out of it. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Don't tell me your situation. Don't tell me your problem. Don't tell me what you find yourself. Don't tell me anything. Because as I'm standing right now, I'm seeing a vision that the Holy Spirit is about to open a new door for you. 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 Don't tell me your crisis. Don't tell me your circumstances. Don't tell me whatever you are going through. All I know is so deep for me to understand. It's so deep for me to understand. All I'm seeing is that the Holy Ghost is opening a new door for you. Amen. And you're about to come out. Amen. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, for the new door. For the new that door. you are opening in my life. Come on. I am coming out. I am coming out. This season. This is immediately after William's town. Immediately after William's town. I am coming out. I am coming out. I am coming out. I am the city gate. I am the city gate. Where there is the iron gate. Where there is the iron gate. As if I'm dreaming. As if I'm dreaming. As if I'm having a vision. As if I'm having a vision. But I know. But I know. That I know in my Noah. But yet I don't know. But I'm seeing myself following somebody. Following somebody. The angel of the law. The angel of the law. I am coming up. I am coming up. My brother. My brother. My sister. My sister. I am coming up. I am coming out from the financial crisis. From the financial crisis. I am coming out. I am coming out from spirit of barrenness. From spirit of barrenness. I am coming out. I am coming out. Say my virtue. 
My destiny. My destiny. My blessings. My blessings. Is coming out. Is coming out. From those prisons. From those prisons. I say it's coming out. It's coming out. Right now. Right now. My commitment to the word of God. My commitment to the word of God. I am recovering. I am recovering. By the fire of God. By the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You demon spirits. You demon spirits. And powers. In my father's house. In my father's house. In my mother's house. In my mother's house. Assigned to turn my destiny into a battlefield. In the name of Jesus, I am coming out. I am prophesying. Destiny. So that I will be lifted up. So that I will be lifted up. All those arrows. All those arrows. Fired against me. Fired against me. To put a demonic mark on me. To put a demonic mark on me. Oh, blood of Jesus. Oh, blood of Jesus. Wipe it away. Wipe it away. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray for the blood. to pray for the generation of youth. Brothers and sisters, unless something is done quickly, else the entire generation of youth will be lost. They don't know God and what it means to serve God. They don't, you know, they didn't even understand the deep things of God. They keep spending money, spending money, buying stuff. They even don't know how to save. A lot of them do are wasting their money on technological gadgets, some spend their time, especially in the developing world, doing scams, corruption, bribery, and all those stuff. So these young adults are being taught without training. Say, taught without training. Now, I heard somebody saying this. He says that, he says that you can't teach people without training them. He says, to teach without training is to fail in your task. Are you with me? He says, nobody learned to play football or soccer by reading books. Oh, are you understanding? Yes. Listen, mom and dad, are you here? Yes. Listen, it's a quotation from somebody. He said, no. He said, what happens when man goes to training camp at football or soccer do they all go to the library to read books? No, they train. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. And he says, listen, I'm guaranteeing you this. He says, look at how man trains his hunting dog. He says, man will train his hunting dog. And it's very amazing when you see how man trains his uh, mod. Amazing dog, uh, his dog is very amazing. The way he trains them so beautifully, beautifully. And he says, but we train our dogs and don't train our kids. Oh my God, are you understanding? Then he said, then we tie our dogs up at night and let our kids run wild. We, lead, we, let them, we, 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 we lose them to go wild. You see the thing? And I said, what is this guy saying? And I realized that today, even in the developing world, when I went to Ghana, I saw kids playing football. 
playing football. I said, what? Wow, this kid's playing football like that. Sunday morning, they don't go to church. They are playing football. And they have been taught to be a celebrity. They have been taught to do things so that, you know, fame and all those things. Everybody wants to be a famous person. They watch CNN and all this stuff. And I was looking at them. I said, but it's, it's, it's nobody training them to be good adults. And today it's happening. A lot of our kids go to school and all that we hear about grades, physical health, popularity, ability, basketball, this and this. But it's very difficult to see them being trained on character. And so the challenge today, the challenge today, tell your neighbor, neighbor, yeah. the challenge today, the challenge today is teaching the children courtesy. Are you with me? Yes. Who is teaching them courtesy? Who is teaching them discernment? Who is teaching them generosity? How to be generous? How to be gentle, honesty, humility, kindness, helpful, obedience? How to order themselves, patience, persistence, self-control, thankfulness. Where are they getting their wisdom? Who is teaching those things? This is supposed to be mom or dad. It needs to be you. So to teach without training is not only to fail in your tax, but to introduce another idol of sports, physical health, popularity, and ability into their hearts. So they grow up and they, go, they, enter, they enter into marriage and then one and a half years they are out. So we are going to pray for the youth. Use your kids as a point of contact. And pray, listen, we are going to where? Williams, and we are going to pray for them. It's a job God has given to us. It's work. For me, I see it as an assignment. I see it as a great commission. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Have you seen all these kids here? Unless somebody teach them character, humility, generosity, they will enter into marriage, they will put on gloves, and they will start fighting their husbands. And by the time I realize, they cause them to cohabitation, whatever. So we are going to pray. Let's start praying for them. Amen. Amen. Oh, the angel of the Lord showed up. Yes. He was so powerful. But the presence of the angel couldn't set Peter free. It is when Peter woke up and then the chains were out, fell up. Say, I'm waking up. I'm waking up. So I'm ready to follow now. I am ready to follow. I am waking up. I am waking up. I am ready to follow. I am ready to follow. So you are going to pray that as you follow Christ, the kids too will follow you. Are you with me? Yes. Paul says, look at me. Just as I follow the Lord Jesus Christ, you two see me, watch my life, and then emulate my example. Hallelujah. Yes. Because my example conformed to that of oh, Jesus Christ. Let's pray. And <laughs> Because Peter was following the angel, there are certain questions that he wouldn't answer because he's in the hand of who? the angel of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Anytime you follow, there are certain questions 
because it's in the hands of God. Are you with me? You'll be at peace. Say, I'll be at peace. I'll be at peace. Are you with me? So I said, there are certain questions. So while I was going through, the guards were standing there. The questions has already been what? Answered. Amen. Amen. That's why now and then you have to connect with God. Don't leave any gap. Else the enemy will come and then, you know, torpedo your mind with a lot of questions. Questions you can't answer. And so Peter was following. Amen. Amen. There are more questions than answers. In my mind, I cannot glean. Somebody sang that song. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus. The Lord. There are certain mysteries concerning my destiny. It's in your hands, oh God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Activate it. Activate it now. Activate it. said, Ezekiel, listen, I'm asking you a question. Do they think that they can cry of me when they hold fast to their secret idols? What kind of people are these? Do they expect me to ignore what is in their heart and answer what is in their mouth? What do they want to hear from me? Says the Lord. Brothers and sisters, some are saying, I want to hear from God, but you can't cling to whatever you are clinging to. No, 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 no. My brother, my sister, you must repent. We must repent. You and I must repent. If we repent, then the door is going to open for us. Hallelujah. Amen. When we repent, we'll hear from God. Amen. Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, I know that when Peter heard the voice, what he did is that, listen, enough is enough. I am going to surrender. Say, so this is a time of surrendering. This is the time of surrendering. This is the hour of giving in to God. This is the hour of giving in to God. Because I'm realizing that. Because I'm realizing that. I don't have enough power. I don't have enough power. To go through the challenges. To go through the challenges. Of my, of, I mean, in my job schedules. In my job schedules. I don't have the power. I don't have the power to even go to the market. To even go to the market. Go and do grocery. Go and do grocery. With the little that I have. With the little that I have. I'm beginning to realize that. I'm beginning to realize that. I don't have the educational strength anymore. I don't have the educational strength anymore. The power of positive thinking anymore. The power of positive thinking anymore. Steady. Study. And excel. And excel. I am beginning to realize that. I am beginning to realize that. I am now weak. I am now weak. The Lord I know. The Lord I know. That in my weakness. That in my weakness. See, your strength is made perfect. Your strength is made perfect. So I am surrendering to you. So I am surrendering to you. Lord God. Lord God, anoint me. Anoint me. Empower me. Empower me. Upgrade me. Upgrade me. Lord, I'm downloading your wisdom now. Lord, I'm downloading your wisdom now. Into my spirit. Into my spirit. Into my soul. Into my soul. Yes, I'm ready to follow. Yes, I'm ready to follow. Follow you to Williamstown. Follow you to Williamstown. Next week. Next week. 
Coming this Friday. Coming this Friday. Around 7 a.m. Around 7 a.m. I'll show up here. I'll show up here. I'll be obedient to you. I'll be obedient to you. And go. And go. And have a pillow talk with you. And have a pillow talk with you. So that you reveal. So that you reveal. Hidden things. Hidden things. Concerning. Concerning. My personal battles. My personal battles. That I'm fighting with. That I'm fighting with. Oh, this silent frustration. Oh, this silent frustration. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I am coming out. I am coming out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, come out, come out. Baby. Amen. Amen. Amen.